right. Welcome to Your Time, Your Money, the show where your time is just as valuable as your money, and we know that. Matt, welcome today. Really excited. Really excited. Spring is here, babe. Spring is here. We're excited. We got the sun is shining. It's not 30 degrees anymore at night. But it's New York, so next week might be six inches of snow. (laughs) It'll be snowing next week. That's okay. We're okay with that. We're tough. We're tough in New York. Somewhere I saw there's 12 phases of winter in New York. (laughs) And then there's summer. That's it. (laughs) You get summer for one month and 23 days, and that's what summer is in New York State. I love it. And the rest is a various phase of winter. So. Absolutely love it. So welcome. We got a great topic today. Um, yes. You know, the, the title of the topic is going to be developing passive uh, income. Right. And we thought it was maybe good to give some advice and guidance to our clients and listeners on, you know, thinking about a bigger picture towards retirement. And that's potentially developing some additional businesses on the side. Yeah. Right. That we can, you know, have passive income coming in. Right. Right. So, so let's get started in that. I'll let you do the honors. It's your time. Your money. (laughs) Um, You know, Mark, you hit it on the head. I feel like more often than not, advisors, we kind of see when there's a credit crunch. And we see when people start to get in some financial pain because we get the phone call, right? Hey, I need money. Hey, I need 10 grand. Hey, I got to pay a bill. I got to get the monkey off my back. But what I've been talking about with people is just developing a method where you can make some extra cash, right? Whether it be an online job or you start a business Or maybe you start working with a friend on on something they're passionate about. There's always ways to make money. Yeah. And and for twofold, you want to start thinking about that. One is a lot of people, when they retire, they don't know what to do with themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So if slowly, by the time you retire, you've developed a passive form of income or a side business, so to speak. Right. Right. You can transition into that. And that might be your retirement for you. And you know, then, yeah, and then the second is is let's say you do get laid off. Oh, I mean, you don't know when that's coming, right? A lot of people lately have been like, hey, I got laid off. I didn't expect it. You, you may have at least just enough coming in to pay your basic bills, you right. know, especially if you start early on. If you cut back and you, you don't do as much stuff, I could pay my basic stuff. I could pay my mortgage. I could get gas in my car. I can, I can get my kids around. But, but I mean, like, I want I want to open people's minds because when they, when they do the labor statistics, right, what they don't incorporate for sometimes is Americans that have two or three jobs. Right. I would say it's pretty common. And I just was on the phone with a client last night. She's a nurse. She travels eight months a year as a travel nurse, but she also bartends. She also makes extra money as a server. And it's like, you know, I look at it. And when she said that, I said, wow, that's a great side hustle. Right. Especially if you're a college kid or even if you're in your 30s or 40s and you're 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 a mom, you you know, you, you could be you could be at home. You could be working three, four hours a day from home on Instagram. Yeah. Right. Building a brand on Instagram. Yep. And there's, there's passive income from ads or from, you know, services that you may provide that, that make easy money for you. Yeah. You know, and, and a couple areas that people can look in are, are the commission areas. Right. Right. And, and one that comes to mind is, you know, a lot of, uh, real estate companies will hire yeah. somebody and not expect them to work full time. Oh, I mean, look, think about it. Like being a, being a realtor or being in the real estate market, I've, it's really opened my eyes. I recently started doing real estate and I started looking and buying in real estate. It's, it's, there's great money there, you yeah, know, right? Which, there which really is, is. Which is twofold. It is you can go and take the course, which isn't right. too complicated. You can go get, take the course, get licensed, get supported by a broker deal. The hard, hardest part is you know? finding a broker. And, that and then like. occasionally find properties and have listings and, and show them, which might be, you know, maybe three hours a week. Right. And this, right. I talked to my wife about this because Christine stays home and she's a baker, right? And I said, babe, I said, you know, there's some people that do real estate where I'm like, you are, you have you have more talent than them. You could potentially do this job. And even if you sell two houses a year or yeah. you help a buyer buy two houses a year. Yeah, most people don't realize they're getting That's between significant. two and a half to maybe 6% of the sale of a house. Right. I mean, imagine, you're, imagine you do a part-time gig and you're a realtor and you sell one of your friend's homes, Right. And that sells for four hundred thousand dollars. And I'm not like a I'm not like a realtor here, but like I'm 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 assuming that you're gonna make between two and three percent on the sale of that home. Yeah. Well, what's that? That's maybe twelve thousand for the year right. that you made on one sale of one home. So you know that could it's be good money. Good. It's and a thousand bucks a month. And then transitioning into the other thing on real estate, it could be maybe you're looking for a rental property, An investment or, property. or something that you know Or let's say you're good with your hands and you wanna you wanna help someone build some sweat equity. Well you put it out there. Listen, laborers are really hard to find right now. Uh, we had to, we had we went through three people in our home when we were redoing our dining room just basic stuff like a new f- chair rail new new paint right some built-ins we went through three people because finding a good laborer was very difficult yeah right? especially you know think about a lot of the skilled 
laborers that have retired or getting ready to retire. Right. And they want to transition out of the everyday hustle and bustle of their business. Okay. But, you know, how many people that are seniors, maybe widowers that have these honey-do lists? Yep. You know what I mean? That, hey, I want, I need this fire alarm moved. I, I need, need one I need, electrical right, plug. I need one moved. electrical plug, right? Yeah. Like, so, I mean, you, you guys make fun of me, but my mailbox, right? I did this beautiful, ma- <laughs> you're, laughing, you're laughing. I did this beautiful mailbox in the front of my house. I've been, I've wanted to do this mailbox since I moved in. Don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. You know it. You know where I'm going with this. I've wanted this mailbox forever. I went through three people and even our camera guys laughing at me. I went through three people to get this mailbox done. I think Finally, the only thing not in your mailbox is plumbing. <laughs> there is no plumbing in the mailbox. Things. Everything else is there. It's like, it's like a little house in the front of my house. Um, but it's beautiful. But I ended up having to go with a 40 year veteran stonemason, Patrick Batchelder's dad, Mr. Batchelder, right? God bless you, Patrick. Um, but he's the only one that came and actually finished the job, right? It was like three people. Yeah. So that's why it's so important that our listeners understand having this, you know, passive income and there's, a, there's, no, there's other words to call it, right? We're not going to go there. We'll say passive income, just developing little gigs for yourself yeah, and let's you know let's give our listeners some some ideas of other things right because sure. with technology nowadays and apps and things along that lines there's a ton of opportunity for people to do some things on the side yeah you know that only take a couple hours i mean I, just the biggest one out there you think of the car ride services car ride or uber right? Right? lyft right you know what i mean where where maybe you have a couple hours in a day maybe it's maybe it's your commute home <laughs> right? and you're just picking up people from the airport going to their house and then home what if you love right? shopping what if you love shopping you know that on Amazon, you can go into a Marshalls and just find stuff. If you have a good eye for like either antiques or clothes, you could find a piece of clothing or, or a, an item, scan it, and then sell it. Yep. Right? You, you could do that right on your phone. Yeah. And, and for people that want to do a little bit more research, I mean, you can go on a lot of sites like YouTube. Right. Sit for an hour or two and watch videos on how to do some of this stuff and, mm. and learn from people that are doing it. Right, I, I think of a lot of the dropship services, where, drop where, ship. Yeah. where people are just digitally moving around the click button, so to speak, right. for buying anything, yeah. real, you know, any any retail item or anything along that lines, and they're getting a check just because somebody clicked on their button versus yeah. somebody else's button. Again, you just got to think outside the box, and, and you don't. You, here's the thing. Here, here's what I wanted to talk about most. Don't be afraid to work. And the the the, the real problem is, I think nowadays there's a fear of of putting in the time. And putting in the effort of building up a business that is your own. Because, oh my God, what if it fails? Oh my God, what if it's not good? What if somebody does, doesn't like it? Well, guess what? You're going to evolve. Yeah, and You're going to evolve. You're going to change your method. You're going to A lot of learn. times people work their 40 hours and they think that's what they're <laughs> confined to. And they get home right. and, they're, and they're exhausted. And I understand yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but, but sometimes maybe it's just an hour or two of thinking about, hey, what else can I do to, to drive income yeah. into the household? And not have to eat up my weekends or my holidays. Yeah, and, and who knows? Some, you know, some of those little side things that you're doing may grow and they may, for a younger person, take over their entire career. Think, make it, make it about what you're passionate about, right? Make it about what you love, right? Cause if it's something that you love, guess what? It's not work. It's fun. It's a hobby. You know, I mean, what was, there was a, there was a little guy, a little kid that made uh, a toy, a toy brand. It's like a billion dollar brand now. And they just wanted to, I forgot what the name of it was. Um, yeah. They're, they're, well, not only that, but I mean, there's, there's tons of families that video record their vacations, right. put them online and they go through YouTube and they get subscribers. Right. And they have a passive income coming in from the subscribers. From the ads. And all right. they're doing is videotaping their vacation. And like what to do and what not to and, do. And, you know, kids like my daughters who are 11 and 8. Right. Love watching them because they go down a water slide. Or right. They, you know, and I'm like, I don't get it. I'm like, <laughs> you can be outside. But it's brilliant because, you know, here they're, they have a passive income coming in yep. from something as simplistic as that. Yep. And, and they're going on the vacations for free, basically, Just, because they have so many subscribers. I want our listeners to know, and, and as we grow our client base and our listener base, you know, we don't get paid to do this. We love doing this. This is fun for us. And, you know, if any, if at any point, you know, we do get syndicated, which I hope someday we do, then, you know, I would hope we work with a charity where we can donate money and help people that really need it, you know? So that's important for people to know that there are things out there that are available for them to be more successful than they already are. You just got, you can't be afraid to work. Yeah. Well, here, here's an example, in. right? You, you go to buy a car. Sure. The dealer doesn't give you as much as you think you're entitled to for the car. Right. And so you have an option. You can either trade it in, sell it outright, or there's an app that'll allow you sell your to car. actually be like a car rental service. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where people can click on it and, and they rent can rent your car. Your like car. A B&B. 
for a day or for a week or anything along that lines. Yeah. And you can drive passive income off of that, perhaps. Yep. If you don't, if you don't need your car, you're you're not you're going to go on vacation. You leave your car here for four months of the year. You could literally rent your car on an app and let somebody pay you to rent your car. Yeah. There's no there's no limit to the possibilities for passive income nowadays. The only yep. limit is the person's mindset right. and whether or not they're going to take the risk or take the jump into it and, and try it. Well, and, and, and then again, like you go back to like working doubles, right? If I'm a corrections officer, I'm going to work a double to make extra money or get more sick time. But that that's a redundancy, right? You're now you're now creating more systematic risk in your own work life because you're just doing the same job twice. Whereas if you spend that seven or eight hours in that time thinking about, well, maybe I can do a security side hustle. And that security side hustle is going to get me a relationship that's then going to segue itself into something I'm going to do after I retire. And you know what? There's a lot of you studies know? that show things like that actually make your mental health healthier, mm -hmm. right? Because it's a break from the mundane. The norm, it, right. It, it allows your mind to start thinking. Yeah. It allows the juices to flow, so to speak. And, <laughs> and you know, those those are things that, you know, kind of make life fun is, is breaking out of that norm. You know, they say some of the best things you can do is just pick a different route into work. Fit the, oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Right. That's a great that's a great point. Drive a different way. Take a different route. So maybe maybe you look at something new, you see something different. I mean, I, I'll give us another simple, like a last example here, like fitness gear, fitness apparel. There is a huge movement right now on social media where young women are empowering themselves and they're, and they're branding fitness material, right? Whether it be leggings or shirts or headbands or, or, or some type of workout gear, and they are getting paid. There is a ton of money in that space. And even I told our, our client liaison, Matt Byers, I'm like, man, I want to connect with these people because they are making great money and I hope they're saving it. I hope they're doing the right thing and not just going and being lavish and spending money on all these crazy things. I hope they're saving it and putting it away. And hopefully this episode spurs some people on to do some research. Maybe, you know, try one of these side activities for passive income. Yeah. Start developing some passive income, which can aid in their retirement, maybe aid in helping to pay college finances for the kids or whatever that might be. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, hopefully that somebody takes this, spurs it, and goes on and, and, and makes a ton of money, uh, maybe doing something new creative or using some of the things that are out there. So oh, exciting, man. Exciting times. Hope uh, Hope we did some great stuff today, and I love always talking with you, Mark. It's always great. Yep, and as always, if our listeners have questions, they can reach us at 43 British American Boulevard in Latham, New York, 12110, or at 844-444-YTYM, -YTYM, and on yourtimeyourmoney.net. It's your time and your money. <laughs>